Welcome to the Tech Me News Alert. Uh, you may be asking why wasn't there a video Thursday and Friday? Well, the reason being is because we were testing out a couple of uh, supposed security holes for the Facebook iOS app uh, that apparently doesn't require jailbreaking or uh, any type of theft. Um, and unfortunately, Dropbox has it too. Now, we have a lot of users that are... Uh, um, Fortunately and unfortunately, <laughs> depends uh, on what side of the spectrum you're on. Um, uh, iOS uh, users, which means uh, you're basically an iPhone user. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter what iOS uh, it seems uh, currently that we've tested. And we have tested this out. Uh, however, we only use the iPhone 3GS and the 4. We have not tried the 4S, but from what we've heard, it really does not matter. Um, what I need to tell you is if you do have the Facebook app, the official Facebook app, please know that even though you're using the iPhone one, it's rumored that it could also be on the Android one. Not the Windows phone, but Android and iOS. Now, you might be asking, what exactly is this? Maybe you've heard about it, you haven't. Well, from what we've tested, and we've done this all internally, and all just strictly to be able to tell our users, as this is going to be one of our new segments, we may stop whatever we're doing just to bring you news alerts, like super important news alerts, right? Um, and this alert, we feel, is, you know, quite important. This security hole basically... Uh, for lack of a better word, stores uh, a plain text file on your phone. Um, and now, there's programs out there where you can actually get into your physical hard drive um, and basically, literally almost unlock it without having to do anything illegal to your uh, phone to avoid the warranty. And as we are developers here at the Tech Me Show, we went forth and, you know, made our own app uh to go ahead and grab the plain text file and display it. Well, sure enough, our app was able to do it. And uh, because it is stored locally on the hard drive, there's nothing that prevents us from doing that. Um, now, with the Windows phone, it, it's a little bit more difficult. But nonetheless, um, right now we're talking about the iPhone because a lot of you guys out there run that. Um, and the horrible part is, from what we've tested, the Dropbox one, it's the same deal, people. This is awful programming. This is just awful. And you know what? For uh, Dropbox, okay, maybe there's a mistake. But for Facebook, no. Time and time and time and time, over and over and over again. Facebook, Zuckerberg, and all of them are screwing with our security, right? Non-stop, we're having problems with Facebook. And it's just ridiculous. Facebook thinks we want to share more of our personal information to advertisers and share it out to the world. No, no, we don't, actually. And the fact that any moment now, if one of the programmers, oops, makes a mistake, all of our private accounts can become public. And there are bots out there that basically archive the internet and archive this and that and whatnot. And um, unfortunately, it's pretty sad that there's really no security at Facebook. Except if you're a Windows Phone user and you're trying to log into the uh, Facebook app, you know, it wants to know what device you're at and it doesn't want you to use your regular password. It'll generate one for you. Uh, which is smart. Okay, I'll give them that. That's great. But the problem is, when people can get your uh, 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 password to these places with just... Well, I, I don't want to go into explanation how we made it here. But it was not difficult. Pretty much a novice could do it. As long as he she knew how to navigate to a specific uh, area and how to load it, it would not have a problem. But... Apparently, uh, Facebook came out saying, no, this is only if you jailbreak the phone. This is a lie. This is not true at all. You can use something like iExplore um, if you really wanted to test it out yourself uh, to see, you know, if this is true or not. Because 
it, it is not true that you have to jailbreak or do something illegal to your phone. Not at all. And even if that was true, why? Why does that have to be so? It just doesn't make any sense. Now you might be asking, well, who cares? Who's going to get my Facebook uh, password? And what are they going to do? Post something bad? You know, when I hear comments like that, I think you're stupid. Plain and simple. You're stupid. Right? Uh, and I say that only because, you know, this is your personal information, people. Whether you have your account public or not, this is your account. You truly want people to snoop through and read what you got? I know you might say, oh, but I don't have anything important and blah, blah, blah. This is your personal life. This is your account. You don't care? We'll go on Twitter and post it for the world and see what happens, right? And, uh, I mean, come on, people. This is ridiculous. Um... I mean, this is your device. And granted, if this can be done, what other malicious things could be done? Right? Um, you know, and again, it's a plain text file. And it's a, a dot .p, I believe it was, dot .p list file. Uh, and so, what's to say that it couldn't be accessed, right? Considering if you go back a while... Uh, you were able to take an image and uh, have it do something malicious to uh, uh, Safari browser users. So what's to say something like that doesn't exist right now? And maybe it's some zero-day hack or something nobody realized. Because there are things out there that hackers and whatnot uh, can do. And, uh, you know, your antivirus software <laughs> may not detect it. Um, especially if you're on an iPhone, there is no kind of virus protection. And the best is when we hear people saying, oh, I bought a Mac because there's no viruses, which is totally not true. Especially since there's root kits, which allow them to have complete access over your machine, which is just as good as ha having a Trojan. But anyways, again, we don't like to talk about how to do hacking and whatnot, but if you did go ahead and download that iExplorer, um, uh, you could basically go into the apps, um, and let's say you wanted to see your Dropbox, right? You go to your apps, Dropbox, and then you're going to be given a, a couple directories. Documents, uh, Dropbox.app, Library, uh, and Temp, and a couple other items. You want to go ahead and navigate to Library. And then from there, uh, you want to go forth and click Preferences, which is right underneath Caches. Uh, and then you're going to see com.getdropbox.dropbox.plist. And it's about, I think, a kilobyte or so. Um, and it'll, in, if you are using iExplorer, uh, the file type will be plist. And unfortunately, you know, <laughs> it's sad that this can be done. It just goes show how crappy... Uh, the programmers out there really are. I mean, to create a plain text file and not even give some kind of M MD5 hash or, uh, you know, to really encrypt the file. I mean, use Blowfish encryption um, or, you know, use some form of encryption. It does exist. You just have to use it. Um, I know it exists on the Windows phone, right? Um, it's just really sad that <laughs> you know, this can be done. Uh, it, it's just unbelievable that you could do this. Um, but, you know, the only thing I can say is totally be careful of the apps that you have on your phone. Um, and I recommend you do this. We made a video here at the Tech Me Show um, how to scan your iPhone, iPad, etc., iOS related devices uh, to see if there's Trojans, uh, where ad companies are going, and whatnot. Go ahead and watch that video. Uh, go through our list. I think it was sometime like a week or so ago. Um, and go through that list. And you know what? Tell me that. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm not going to say anything more. You just watch that video. Um, and just, it's amazing how many apps out there that are sending to multiple ad companies. And a lot of them have been known for tracking, 
which is awful, which means they can take your personal information, phone number, etc. Maybe they won't call you, but why, what stops them from selling your information? Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, but I do recommend if you do use any of these apps, uh, get away from public places. Um, like at the airport, don't go to like those charging stations. Uh, it just, I wouldn't do it. Um, and I would definitely keep an eye out looking for updates for, uh, these programs, um, before you, you know, do anything public, um, because you never know what someone else can do out there, and, uh, you know, it's just scary. Um, but, uh, just know that once you, uh, do attempt to try this, make sure it's on a computer that you've at least synced to once before. I know you can take that syncing and trade it to computer to computer. It has been done, which we're not going to teach you how to do because we're trying to stay away from iOS devices. However, we do acknowledge, obviously, uh, we have tons of iOS viewers, um, and that is exactly why um, we're making this video and why you didn't get a video on Thursday and Friday. We did want to try this. We did want to make sure it's true. Um, and we will continue to do other further testing. Uh, but we did want to definitely get you guys to, uh, um, the information out there. Um, and so, anyways, uh, that should do it for today. It's Saturday at 11.35 a.m. It's 4-7-2012. Um, so we'd like to say Happy Easter and Happy Passover to all of our users who uh, uh, this may apply to. Uh, nonetheless, we again always appreciate you watching the Tech Me Show. And in this case, listening to our live podcast, um, which we hope... Uh, this was somewhat useful, um, but we will continue to actually have these alerts. Um, maybe in the future we'll continue to have the alerts, and we'll continue to have um, uh, actual the tech videos, and maybe get two videos out you per day. Um, but it really depends on what you need to know because we do like to test things before we go and open our mouth and say oh yeah this and this and that and then it turns out we look like liars for listening to the media or other tech guys who are regurgitate re pardon me regurgitating content uh we don't like to do that we'd like to know the truth um find out ourselves and uh get to the bottom of it Anyways, nonetheless, uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, if you would like to share this with your friends, that would be awesome. You can find us on Twitter, at Tech Me Show. Um, you can also find us on Google+. Uh, we will be doing Hangouts soon. Uh, we will be fixing computers live on a Google Hangout or taking your questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, if you have any video questions, uh, questions that you would like us uh, to make um, or you just have questions about how we do our casts um, let me know and uh, we again do have a show where you can call in for technical support um, and we will definitely help you right over the phone um, as we do have a number you can call um, but until then thank you again for listening watching participating and being part of the Tech Me Show. Lance Seidman here, signing off.